I went into the barn and realized that we have a rat. So it's time to do something about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. This is Kevin. Well, I went down to uh, the barn where we keep our feed uh, this morning and I realized that we have a rat in there. Uh, I saw him run away when I went in and uh, so far he hasn't chewed into any of our bags of feed but I know it's only a matter of time. So it's time to uh, make a trap uh, to catch him and make sure that we can eliminate the problem. I'm sure it'll come in handy around other parts of the homestead as well because when you live out in the country, it's just a matter of time, you're gonna have rats. So today I'm gonna teach you how to make a very effective uh, trap uh, that is uh, going to uh, hopefully uh, be able to uh, you know, last for a very long time and catch a lot of rats for us. Now, you can use a standard rat trap like this. I've had this one for a really long time and to be honest, uh, we had a rat recently uh, in one of our other barns and I set this and uh, three nights in a row when I came back out it was sprung and the bait was gone and the rat had disappeared. So uh, I'm guessing it e didn't even get killed since it came back several times. Uh, so these things for the most part, I, you know they might be effective for a small rat uh, but not uh, for what we have around here. So I'm going to teach you how to make something that's even better. Uh, than these and is uh, pretty cheap to make. Now you're only going to need a few things to build this trap. Uh, the first thing is you're going to need some pieces of 1x8 lumber uh, which I have here. Uh, I've already cut this uh, to a size. Uh, I had some scraps. Uh, you can make these any length you want. Uh, I had some scraps that were already 14 inches long so that's what I'm going with today is 14 inches on the pieces of 1x8 lumber. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is just a uh, old piece of uh, some kind of screen for the back of the trap. Uh, that's so that the uh, rat can see the bait from the back and smell it and uh, then have to enter the trap through the front. Uh, the last thing that you're going to need is the secret uh, part of this and that is a conibear trap. Uh, if you're not familiar uh, with a conibear trap, uh, you can purchase these online uh, or at uh, most, you know, farm uh, type stores, um, sporting goods stores. Um, the way that a conibear trap works is it's a uh, jaw type trap. Uh, it does kill the animal, so if you're looking to uh, catch something and release it, this isn't the type of trap. Uh, but uh, for a rat, I just want to get rid of it. So uh, the way that a conibear trap works is there's a big spring over here on the side. And now these come in a lot of different sizes as well. Uh, I have some of these that are big enough to catch coons, uh, but this is a small one. This is the Conibear 110. It's got one spring on this side. Uh, the bigger ones usually have two springs. Uh, but the way that this works is you compress the spring, and these little ones you can do by hand. The bigger ones, you need to use a special tool to help you set them, or there's ways to do it with some rope, uh, but I suggest the tool if you're gonna be using them a lot. So you uh, set it like this, and then there's this little uh, lever here that goes over and it hooks to the top where these two little uh, wires are right here. Hopefully you can see that okay. And then what I like to do is hold the spring really tight like this as I let go with this hand just in case it would spring. Uh, that gives me a little uh, leeway. So now the trap is set and when the animal walks through and it hits those two little wires, uh, it'll spring and it'll grip onto their body. Uh, so this is going to be at the front of our trap uh, and it's just going to slide into a groove that we're going to cut onto one of the uh, uh, 1x8 uh, boards. So I'm going to get to started. I'm going to uh, go ahead and cut that groove in one of the 1x8s. I'm going to go over to my bandsaw in my shop and do that. It's too dark in there to take you guys along. So I'm going to go do that right now and then I'll be back and we will get started assembling the box. All right, so I cut the uh, groove uh, in one of the side pieces. Um, now, I also wanted to tell you that uh, while I had the camera off and I was in the shop, I was kind of messing around with it and I decided to cut the two side pieces. Um, normally a one by eight is three quarters of an inch thick by uh, seven and a quarter inches uh, wide. Uh, I decided to cut these two side pieces down to six and a half inches. Uh, so it'll be six and a half inches tall uh, and I think that'll fit the uh, conibear trap just a little better so 
that the rat has no option but to go through the trap. So uh, now I'm going to get together. I'm gonna just going to uh, start putting these together into the shape of the box. Alright, so I've got the box assembled. It's not the prettiest thing in the world because again, it's just scrap lumber to be honest. It's not all even the same length. It's just what I had laying around, but hey, it'll do. Uh, rat's not going to care. It just wants to get some food. Uh, so the next thing I have to do now is attach the uh, scrap uh, piece of wire here to the back. I'm just going to screw it on and then we'll be ready to set the trap inside of it and see how it works. Alright, so the box is completely done now. Got the uh, screen on the back. Uh, the last thing to do is to uh, set the uh, trap inside of it and see how it works. So the trap is still set uh, from before. Uh, so uh, all we're going to do is put it inside of the box, slide it into the groove, just like that. And that's how it will sit inside of the box. Now we'll put the bait back in the back of the box behind the trap uh, so that the rat can smell it from the back. It'll come around to the front and when it enters the trap, it'll hit those two wires and it'll go off. Let's uh, test it out and see how it works. So again, the rat's gonna come in He's going to try to go through the trap. He's going to hit these two wires. And just like that, we got him. Now these are powerful traps, so make sure you be careful when you uh, use them. Uh, but I guarantee you this is going to kill our rat if he gets in there. So you guys, I hope that this uh, taught you a little something today. You know, a simple thing to build, a uh, very effective uh, if you have a problem rat like I do, um, you know, this is going to come in handy. So uh, if you want to see how this works when I set it, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Uh, once I catch our rat, I'll post a picture to our uh, community tab uh, so you guys can all see uh, that it actually works. But I think this is going to be uh, something that I can use around the homestead quite a bit. So you guys... Again, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now. If you're one of our traditionalists who comes back every day, thank you guys so much. I hope you found some value uh, in this uh, video today. And until next time, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.